I'm gonna get coffee. Starbs. What is your favorite Starbs order? Mm. Mine is an iced skinny caramel macchiato with extra ice. Macchiato. What's yours? I get iced coffee. With extra 2% and half the strawberry. Yes. Now we're gonna go to Manhattan Bagel and get some bagels because that sounds good. Jalapeno bagel, fat free cream cheese, easy on the cream cheese, and cinnamon raisin bagel. Same. Croissant sandwich with extra crispy bacon. Extra crispy turkey bacon. Yeah, that's what I said. Come on, babe, don't tweet that out. And then you get a blueberry bagel with cr uh, honey almond cream cheese. Yes, See, I know you. I know you. You do. So, what is that ring in your finger? I know, I was just gonna say, it's the morning after the epic engagement. And it was so funny because I'm just, see this camera holder hates my life. So I'm not used to like wearing rings other than like my, I don't know, decorative rings, accessories. So I went to take off the other. <laughs> I went to go take, I, I'm still waking up. <clears throat> I went to go take off my, like other rings and then I realized like I don't know 10 minutes later I'm like oh my god where's my wedding ring and their engagement ring and I realized I had taken it off just like nonchalantly with the rest of my ring so I'm it's gonna take some getting used to um, not taking this off with the rest of my jewelry but it's so pretty and I just absolutely love it and thank you guys for all of your comments and your support on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and Snapchat. Um, today we're yes, going to try to respond to everybody. That's it's, insane. There's a lot of comments to be made. Yeah, there is. You guys are so great. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to comment and to watch and like and share and all that stuff. So. Thank you, thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I can't imagine, you. or I couldn't have imagined the response. It's yeah, huge. it's been so cool. And you guys are so right. He knows how to do a proposal because it was very epic and beautiful and perfect. And I couldn't imagined a more perfect proposal. Because it was just, mm. I feel like it was so us. And it was so like... This um, is us. This is us, yeah. But like even the little details, like... He remembered stuff that I said from like the beginning of us dating. Oh. And like, <clears throat> I remember the very beginning of our relationship, I had said something like, it's always been my dream to come home and have like a dress laid out on the bed with a note that says be ready by seven or something like, like something similar to that effect. And I come home and there's like two dresses and shoes and it says pick one and be ready by 345. And then there was a limo and it was so funny because all day long I was thinking, wouldn't that be crazy if there was a limo and it like took us out to Anselmo? But I'm like, no, probably not a limo. He'll probably like pick us, pick me up, but where is he gonna take me? I don't know what we're doing. But like, I didn't think limo or Anselmo was actually gonna happen. So when it did, I was like, he knows me so well. Like, hmm. I would have never expected you Babe. to like be like, I'm picking her up in a limo and taking her to Anselmo. Like, it made well, me feel like a princess. Limo. I know, that's true. <laughs> but it made me feel like a princess. And like, I just felt so special all day. And um, the facial massage was a really good touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'll always make you feel like a princess. Babe, babe. thank you. I you love did. You. I love you. So. So I did okay. Let me know. You <laughs> you did great, babe. You did great. So today is literally going to be a lazy day because yesterday was going to be a lazy day. I even asked him on Friday. I'm like, what do you want to do tomorrow? And he's like, didn't you just want to have a lazy day? I'm like, yeah, that actually sounds so wonderful. And we didn't really see each other for the most of the day yesterday. And um, so we ended up not going to our friend's birthday party, which I felt really bad about. But at the same time, I was like, I haven't seen him all day. I've been by myself. <laughs> He's been like busy all day. And I just want to spend time and like enjoy the moment. So we chose to stay home and just kind of like enjoy being together and cuddling and talking and like kind of reliving the event. 
and um, and, the, and reading your guys' comments, which was so fun. Mm -hmm. and, um, and if you haven't seen the um, vlog yet from the engagement, it is already up and doing surprisingly well early <laughs> this morning. It's I think it's at like 2,000 views and it hasn't even been up for two hours, so that's really exciting. And I can't wait to see the edited, like, professional um, video of the engagement. Mm -hmm. That should be so fun. Um, so, we're really excited. Absolutely. So the consensus is on um, the comments is that you're really hot. You guys are very nice. <laughs> I agree, he is extremely attractive. My consensus is that you're stunning. Babe, you're so nice. I love you, thank you. Oh, and there's nobody I've been hitting big over there. There isn't, that's perfect. You guys know what I told her when I proposed to her. I said that her beauty is profoundly arresting. I've never said that to her before. You have not. I was saving it. Oh, babe. But it's very true. Mm, I love you. Do you want two? Yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. I'll hit the gym tomorrow. <laughs> We're at Ted's parents' house and his dad is out of town, but his mom's here, so we are going to go in and say hi and show her the ring. For the first time. For the first well, time. Well, she saw it before. But, but she hasn't seen it on the hand. Yeah. And then we're actually gonna go out to a venue called Gover Ranch, which is one of the places that we have talked about possibly having the wedding, so we're gonna go view that. And then a little bit later, we're gonna go over to my parents' house and show them the ring. Because have they seen it? They just saw pictures, They right? have just seen pictures. They haven't seen it yet, actually. Yeah, so they're driving back into town because they're out of town this weekend. So we're going to take you in to um, go see Ted's mom, Johnette, and show her the ring. Also, you have aviators and aviator, aviators. Oh, uh, we today. do. These are the Kia Australia and Desi high keys. These are just Ray-Bans. Which, you know, those are great. All right, let's go. This is like originally where we talked about getting married. Was out here because don't show them the, the beautiful pasture. Crappy side. They, this, there's no crappy side out here. It's so beautiful. This is just like the side yard. But out here is like beautiful pasture. It's like so gorgeous out here. It's much prettier. There's a corral that way. Yeah, so it's just so beautiful and peaceful out here. The sun sets right over there and it's just so pretty. So. Anyways, let's go inside. Hey! You're on our camera. Oh, yeah. I am? Yeah. <laughs> You're on the vlog, Mom. Oh my gosh, let's see it. It's beautiful. Isn't that so pretty? <laughs> Looks better on. How do you feel? <laughs> You're great! How do you feel? That's I feel so part. great. That's the good news. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Your tree looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah. You didn't. You didn't light it on fire. Not yet. It looks so gorgeous. Okay, we're here with Bree at Gover Ranch and she is giving us a tour of the gardens right now. Um, so this spot here is a popular, have you guys been out here before? We just kind of walked out one time, but never like a tour or anything. Awesome. So this is a popular ceremony spot. Okay. Um, it's good for about 200 guests. We can get about 100 chairs on each side. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, we could fit more than that. It would just be a little cramped. Okay. Um, it's a good spot. It's the only spot where we have a cemented aisle. So for girls in heels, it's really nice. Yeah. Um, it's also awesome because the bride's really hidden until she gets right here. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. Um, yeah, so that's, that's an pretty. option. Um, in the spring and summer, this is a gorgeous rose garden. Um, so really good for picture opportunities. So would it be thick in um, May? What was that? Would it be pretty good thick in oh, May? Oh yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, so the garden's planted so that there's something blooming year round. Oh, okay. So it's oh, never gosh, like completely yeah. dead. Yeah. Okay. Um, so this spot here, um, the bartender, if you're gonna do a garden reception, the bartender typically sets up somewhere along here. Oh cool. Um, so people like get creative and bring their own bars. Um, some of the bartenders have them, so you can rent them. Awesome. Um, if not, they're rental companies. And then this spot here is the dance floor. Um, on this lawn here, I've seen people either do like cocktail tables for cocktail hour, mm -hmm. and they've also done like yard games if you want to do something like that on this oh, little fun. space here. Um, so the DJ will set up under here. Um, we'll probably have lights strung. Um, Next sound is a DJ in town. Mm -hmm. um, he 
sets up his lights during wedding season and then you can rent those from him. Oh, cool. Um, otherwise, if they're not up and you want them, he, you can call and he'll come out. Oh, awesome. This one's a really popular spot for reception, so people set up their round tables um, for dinner. And I like it because then your guests, if they don't want to dance, they can still sit at their tables and kind of be a part of what's yeah. happening yeah, over here. Yeah, sure. I like that. See everything. Yeah. Um, people will do, <laughs> yeah, yeah, people will do their first dance on this cement area, like in front of all of their guests sitting down. Um, so that's a good spot. Um, people that's really pretty. People can put cake table and gift tables and things here. Okay. So that's an option. Otherwise, this lawn is another popular spot. Um, and John from that sound usually has lights like strung all the way across here. So oh, it's really pretty amazing. Yeah, that'd be yeah. beautiful. So that's I an like option. That. Um, caterers, if you're going to do like buffet style, they'll set up along here okay um, but again they can set up wherever you want them yeah our theme i guess would be probably best described as like rustic elegance so like all um, yeah. of this kind of yeah. fits that really perfectly so rustic charm yes He's a rental company she's amazing okay a ton of stuff oh really yeah nice and that, i mean it's all themed like that perfect okay. yeah and this is the barn. Now, I saw on your photos, they had the like draping. Yes, so that is, um, you can rent those through a wedding planner. Her name is Brie also. Okay. Um, she, um, it's Rustic Rendezvous is her business. And okay. she has a Facebook page. Okay, I'll have um, to do it. Oh yeah, gosh, so we, this we looks hung, so pretty. Thank you. We hung the it. wire so that people have the ability to do that. Right. Great. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, pretty. it's all there. You just need the, the draping. And I hope it shows up as beautiful in camera. But um, so these are all walnut orchards, and so in the spring they would obviously all be have leaves and be really beautiful. But having the ceremony here, and then the reception in the barn would be pretty awesome. That's so. Pretty. What do you think, babe? It's pretty awesome. I really like that. What are your thoughts? That's why I brought it up. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love it. Well, it's like almost seven o'clock and literally after we went and looked at Gover Ranch, we came back, watched some scandal, took a nap, and now I'm gonna hop in the shower and that way I can film tomorrow pretty early. So we're tired. It's been a really exciting but very long last couple days with traveling and you know Ted planning the proposal and the excitement of it all so um, we just kind of had a really nice lazy Sunday so we love you guys and we will see you guys tomorrow